The next part here is camera clipping or sectional perspective. Now, um, just to just to bring just to stimulate your interest, so to speak. Uh, now, if you look at my screen down here, if you master this technique, look at this. This is a cutaway view. This is traditionally one of the strengths of our course. It's a very effective way of showing the overall interior across multiple levels. It is also one of those very difficult views to prepare if you are using AutoCAD to draft or draw manually. For example, if you don't know the proper technique. And the presentation technique is often very, very impressive because it involves so much things happening within the interior itself. There's so much activity once you get this part done out nicely. Okay, so please, please, uh, your attention on this one. All right. First of all, all right, in, again, in plan view, when we are going to create a camera for a human being to see, okay, human height one, we always go to the top view to create the camera. I want you to do this, huh? go to create, go to camera, go to target again. Today, all the cameras we create will be target cameras. Alright, do this. Where do you create a target camera? How do you do this? Okay, okay. so I want you to create anywhere that's empty. So create one here and one here. Make it diagonal. Uh, it doesn't matter how you create or where you plant the cameras because we're going to get it correct anyway later on. It will be very precise. There's no aggravation. I don't even want to share with you how to create an agar camera. No aggravation in my lesson here. It's going to be a very precise exercise. Just click and drag anywhere. I don't care where your camera is going to line up really. It will line up in the same place anyway later. Okay, can do this, huh? Now, after you are done with this, here's what I want you to do, okay? Do you see, do you see when you activate the move command, huh? Below here, below here, there is an XYZ box that tells you the coordinates of this particular camera or not. Okay, I'm going to share with you another method to do this. Don't need to call out the move transform type in if you don't want to. Do you see X here, Y here, and Z here? Okay, this X, Y, Z will describe the location of the camera in the viewport at this time. Clear? Okay, now I want you to simply copy, double click on the X axis, right click, and copy. Now, next, I want you to select the target now. This new camera's target. Select that target. Wherever it is, I really don't care where you plant it. You will end up in the same spot anyway. Alright? Now, next, I want you to double click on the X axis now. Do you understand what you're doing? When you click on the target, these three boxes here will describe that target location in the viewport, okay, at the moment. Huh? I want you to double click on the X axis now and right click, paste. Just now you copy the numbers, correct? Now? now I want you to paste those numbers there. Paste it, paste it and enter. What do you see? You see now a vertical line, right? Straight, straight line, huh? nicely there. There is no approximation, it's precise digitally. Clear? What am I trying to get you to do? What's the purpose of doing this? The purpose of doing this is to show you the technique, how you can prepare things, or especially cameras, precisely. It is very important to do this because later on, you're going to prepare plans, you're going to prepare sections. And those things need to be done digitally precise. I want everyone to select this camera and re I'll go to modify and rename this camera and call it sectional perspective camera. 
I make it big, big in case you don't see this. I want you to rename this camera first and then do this. Okay, can follow so far? Now, good. Once this is done, I will show you in four views. Huh? Once this is done, I want you to right click on the viewport now again and then key in the key C. You should now, when you press the key C, you should now see this, what we call the select camera dialog box. All right, I repeat one more time now. Activate the viewport on the right hand corner, this one. Then key in C. You should see the select camera dialog box. I want you to now select the sectional perspective camera and click OK. You are going to see something like this. All right, okay. Once this is done, I want you to select both the camera and the target. And I want you to shift it somewhere here in the middle. Here. Notice the triangle, right? The triangle will cover this area and this area here. Notice here now, when I shift this, I'm going to put it somewhere here, like that. Use the use these two triangle points as a reference. Okay, use these two corner points and make sure the triangle can cover these two. Make sure it does this and this. Okay, it covers these two areas. Huh? If you look at this right now, the camera elevation is still wrong. Okay, if you look at this right now, the camera height is wrong. We want to raise the camera to a human height again. Look at where my screen is. Left side, the camera angle, the camera elevation is wrong. Again, I need to call out the move transform type in. Call out the move transform type in. And under the Y axis here, Key in 1500 to raise it to a human height, 1.5 meters. You should end up seeing something like this. Next, you select the camera. Next, you select the camera only. Yeah? Select the camera, not both, not camera and target. Select the camera only. Go to modify. Okay. Now, here is what I want you to do next. Huh? If you roll down here, do you now see there is a portion here on clipping planes? If you roll down the parameters of the camera, camera parameters, do you now see that there is clipping planes portion here? There is a portion down here that says clipping planes. I want you to activate clip manually. When you do this, you now see that near clip, you can key in numbers. Far clip, you can also key in numbers. Can I have your attention on my screen, please? I need you to understand how these things work before I show you how it works. Okay. Now, if you notice, in the far clip, when I start dragging, I want you to pay attention on my... Uh, on the top view, on my top view and my perspective here. These two views here. Look at what is happening. When I drag this guy down, you notice stuff goes missing or not. Okay, it goes missing after I do this one. Okay, notice here, there is a red line going through. Think of the plan view as a cake, huh? When the knife cuts where the thing disappears, this is what we call the far clip. Then notice there is an, another view called the near clip. Now when I drag this out, okay, I got to very long. I just key in the number starting with 1000. When I push this one out also, it's also gone. Do you see this right now or not? This one. Yeah.
Do you now see when I zoom in closer? Do you now see there are two lines happening here? That means we have two lines uh, that can cut the model. One will cut further, the other one will cut nearer. That's why near clip, far clip. Okay? In a sectional situation, we will use the near clip to section. Unless you need to prepare a slice, then you use the near and far option. Otherwise, we will normally use only the near clip to prepare a section. Can you try? Make sure the far clip is further than the model. Look at what, what is happening on my plan view here, my top view here. The, the far clip is further out. And then the near clip now cuts somewhere in the middle of the bed and the study area here. Do you now see this happening at this point? When you have this, okay, I'm going to just drag the camera down a little bit more so you can see more things, okay? When I drag it down a little bit, the knife location is changed and then I need to readjust the knife a little bit. Do you now see this happening? When you render the view, you should now see what you call the sectional perspective. Can you try? Do a render and then you save it as zero to sectional perspective camera. Okay, if you want to see why the knife is cutting, I'll show you, right? The knife is cutting through this location here, so this is where you want the section to be, okay? Wherever you are standing, the knife cuts through this, so that you can see the, you can see the study area here too, alright? So that's the idea. That's why the triangle must cover these two areas here so that you can cut this properly, okay? That's how it works. After you are done with the rendering, I want you to save it and call it 02 Sectional Perspective Camera. JPEG. All right, this is what I want you to do. Save it as 02 Sectional Perspective Camera. And then save it, okay? And okay. You should now, in your scene, have two cameras prepared already out of the five. Next, what I want you to do is this, huh? go to the front view, go to the front viewport, 